fireworks. Nothing says freedom like blowing stuff up. But doing so can put your safety at risk. Every year we hear about firework-related injuries, and since the early 2000s, that number has been trending up with nearly 10,000 last year. With a week before Independence Day, can we build a safer way to launch fireworks? Let's build it. We'll start off by building a proof of concept. Unsurprisingly, burns are the most common injuries from fireworks. So if we can figure out a way to remotely light the fireworks, injuries should drastically reduce. We connect a nichrome wire to a match and some speaker wire. Nichrome wire is often used as a heating element in hair dryers and toasters. And even in those fruity little vapes bikers suck on. We'll set this up by our oil soaked curtains and test it out. Hooking up a 9 volt battery, the nichrome wire heats up causing the match to ignite. This is actually something we've been wanting to build for 12 years, back when Kip K, the OG maker YouTuber, released this video. His build was single use, relying on a 1 ohm resistor overheating to light the match. By using nichrome wire, we could in theory reuse the heating element, if we do the math. But we don't have time for that, so someone smarter than me, leave a comment explaining the math. Anyways, this is a great start. We're able to light a match from farther away. But we need to be sure it can light a firework. Now, it would be too dangerous to light fireworks off our balcony. So instead, we'll test with this cake we stole from a baby. It works. The nichrome wire heats up, igniting the match and it stays lit long enough to light the candle. The only downside is the design is limited by the length of wire. If we plan to light the fireworks from, say, 50 feet away, we don't want to have to use 50 feet of wire. Especially if we want to light multiple fireworks at once. It'll add up fast. Instead, we'll use these RF modules we used in our robot dog trainer video. Connecting these to two Arduinos, we can set one up as a transmitter and the other as a receiver. Adding some more components like buttons and a relay module, we end up with a remote and a controller able to light up eight different fireworks. We just need to wire up some matches. You know, one of the cool things about Kip K's videos was the occasional appearance of his cat Tux, which provided a bit inspiration. Wait, who's that? That's not Tux. Oh no. So all the individual buttons and channels work, but I think we can make this cooler. You guys remember that time an entire fireworks display was fired in 30 seconds? Yeah, so we had the idea of doing just that, but with a blasting machine, like you see in cartoons. We'll start out by cutting some scrap wood we had laying around. In a typical blasting machine, pushing down the handle rotates the generator, which creates the charge to light the dynamite. Ours will just have a limit switch at the bottom. I accidentally added the handle before running the shaft through the lid and had to redo it. Adding some new lines of code, we're able to activate all eight relays when we press down on the blasting machine. I am a little worried though if there's enough power to ignite all the fireworks at the same time, but I don't feel like wiring up any more matches after that last bit, so like any good engineer, we'll just test it in the field. 
Before we continue, we should warn that this is not something you should try at home. Which is why we're heading to our friend's house with over 50 fireworks. We got the first batch of fireworks set up and with the push of a button. Any of them? Yeah. Kind of underwhelmed. There it oh, goes. There we go. <laughs> hey! Yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> How long does it go up for? <laughs> I guess that's it. <laughs> Alright, number two. Fire in the hole. Uh oh. I didn't mean to hit three. That's okay. Four or whatever. Yeah, it looks like you got four. I'm just gonna shorten there then, dude, because I know I didn't hit it. Oh, okay. Oh, whoa, that's <laughs> cool, bro. <laughs> You know, at this point, I was laughing hysterically because it was working way better than I could ever imagine. With those all lit, we set up the next batch. And for our finale, we brought out the blasting machine to see if it will actually work. Go for it.
Oh boy. That made like a fire tornado there. That was amazing. By the way, we hid clues in this in our last two videos. First subscriber to solve it wins a $100 Amazon gift card.